We do begin tonight with the breaking news, the capture after a 36-hour manhunt for an escaped prisoner, a white supremacist, and his alleged accomplice in Boise, Idaho, who fired at officers to help that prisoner escape. Late today, police revealing both men have been captured. Police say inmate Skyler Mead is a white supremacist gang member. Alleged gunman Nicholas Umfenauer is accused of ambushing those three corrections officers, and authorities also revealing just a short time ago they are now looking into two new homicides in the last 36 hours, potentially linked to those men. Authorities say the escape was planned, that the inmate deliberately injured himself so he would be taken to that hospital where the accomplice with the gun was waiting, firing at officers in the ambulance bay. Tonight, the pair captured more than 100 miles away from the scene, and now those two new homicides under investigation tonight. ABC's Victor Akendo in Idaho leading us off. Tonight, more than 36 hours after maximum security inmate Skylar Mead was busted out of a Boise hospital by armed accomplice Nicholas Umpenauer, authorities say both men are in custody. There was a short vehicle pursuit and both suspects were taken into custody separately. They were found in Twin Falls, about 130 miles southeast of Boise. There were no shots fired or extensive use of force in this operation, for which we are thankful. Authorities finding that gray Honda used in the escape abandoned, and they are now investigating two homicides in separate locations that they believe are linked to the escape. We did find the shackles at the scene of one of the homicides, so that's uh, one of the ways that we tied them together. Police say Meade, who is a documented member of the white supremacist Aryan Knights prison gang, deliberately injured himself badly enough to have to go to the hospital. And when he was about to be transported back to prison, accomplice Nicholas Umpenauer opened fire. There's the ambulance bay where police say Umpenauer ambushed the officers around 2.15 a.m., firing multiple shots just feet away from the emergency room entrance. Two officers were shot by the suspect and remain in the hospital. A third, shot accidentally by a responding Boise police officer, was released. I think with today's news, uh, their spirits are lifted. Tonight, both Mead and Umfenauer will face a series of new charges as authorities investigate how they were able to coordinate this escape, which has since turned deadly. David? Victor Akendo leading us off with late reporting here. Victor, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.